Hello friend, in this video, you will learn the different types of bearing and its application. The bearing is a mechanical component used to support the shaft from various load condition and reduces the friction between the moving parts. So bearings are used where the motion is involved. The selection of the bearing, it depends upon the load condition and the motion requirement. So the components of the bearing are seal, outer ring, inner ring, rolling element, cage, these are the components. So the bearings are widely used in the machines transmission units. So before going to discuss the types of the bearing, so we will discuss the rolling elements. So the rolling elements are used in the bearings are ball, spherical, spherical roller bearings and a cylindrical roller, needle roller and the tapered roller. The rolling element withstand the load from the shaft. The type of the roller you are using in the bearing defines the load carrying capacity. The ball bearing as you can see here the less contact and uh, in the cylindrical roller, spherical roller having the more contact area. So more contact area more will be the load carrying capacity and more will be the friction there. Types of the bearings are radial bearing, thrust bearing, general and the sliding contact bearing and some special purpose bearings. There are two types of load acting on the shaft. One is axial load and the another one is the radial load. The axial load is, the, is acting along the axis of the shaft and the radial load is acting perpendicular to the axis of the shaft. The radial bearing withstand the radial loads and the thrust bearing are generally withstand the axial load. In the next figure you can see that the combined load which is the resultant of the axial, axial and the radial load. The ball bearing is a commonly used types of bearing and it is used to handle the both radial and the thrust load. The various types of ball bearings are available in the market. The first one is the single row ball bearing. In that type of single row ball bearings, the balls are arranged in a single row and they are used to handle the radial loads. Double row ball bearings. So in that the balls are arranged in a two rows and compared to single row ball bearing, double row ball bearing have more load carrying capacity. Deep groove ball bearing. So these types of ball bearing are used at very high rotational speed because it offers low friction, low noise and the low vibration. So next one is a angular contact ball bearing. So in this types of bearing, the inner and outer ring are in contact with the ball at an angle. So it can, it can take both the radial and the axial load simultaneously. The load carrying capacity of Load carrying capacity of the bearing depends upon the ball and the ring contact angle. Next one we have the self aligning ball bearing. So these types of ball bearing are used where the angular misalignment of the shaft with the housing. Next one we have the thrust ball bearing. So these are used to handle the axial load only. So and it is available in a single and a double direction bearing. Next one is a roller bearing. In a roller bearing, instead of ball, we use here roller to support the uh, rotating shaft. So roller can provide the large contact area compared to the ball bearing to bear their high load capacity. So the roller bearings are used in a power generation unit, wind turbine unit, gear drives, and machine and the gear reduction unit. So the various types of the roller bearings are available in the market. So let's discuss one by one. First one is a straight roller bearing in that the cylindrical roller handle the thrust coming from the housing. Tapered roller bearing. In these types of bearing, the rollers are arranged at an angle. So the tapered roller bearing can handle the axial and the radial lower force. Cylindrical roller thrust bearing. Uh, so these types of bearing will handle only axial load. So next one is the spherical roller bearing. 
in a spherical roller bearing the inner ring with the two raceway at an angle and they are used to handle the heavy radial and the axial load general and sliding bearings these types of bearings have the large surface contact and large frictional these types of bearings will operate more silently and these types of bearings are suitable for medium and high speed operations so here the attention towards the lubrication is very important because of here more friction here the selection of the bearing it depends on the size load condition and the speed of the shaft some special purpose bearings are magnetic bearings and the gland roller bearings magnetic types of bearings are used in high speed devices in this types of bearing there is no no moving parts and next one is the gland roller bearing these types of bearing are used in the large and heavy load application this types of bearing you can see in the buildings large structure component bridges 